Hello, I'm Dr. Sugar, your internet doctor, here to continue our discussion on influenza, the flu. I'm going to go into a lot more detail on what those symptoms of flu are and what kind of complications can arise if you get the flu. So if you're ready, let's get started with a dose of medical inspiration. So you feel crummy and you think you might have the flu. So let's talk about some of the symptoms that we commonly associate with the flu. First and foremost, expect to see fever, and usually a very high fever. And along with this may come chills, coughing, fatigue, headaches, eye pain, sore throat, body aches, and occasionally a runny nose or nasal congestion. Now, oftentimes these symptoms start very suddenly. Many of my patients will describe a shaking chill that started at a very specific time. They may say they worked all day, they felt fine, and right when they got home from work, boom, they were sick. The symptoms often hit hard and they hit very fast. Now, diarrhea and vomiting, while occasionally seen in children, is not often seen in adults. This is a common misconception that we should just briefly discuss before moving on. A lot of times, at least in the area of the country where I practice, people think that the flu is a gastrointestinal illness or a stomach problem that involves vomiting and diarrhea. It's not. I think this got started because sometimes people call gastroenteritis the stomach flu. This is not the real flu caused by the influenza virus that we're talking about today. So just be aware of that. If you haven't already done so, be sure to watch that entire series on stomach flu, aka gastroenteritis, and you can watch this as well as many other medical content, medical topics in that video content library. So check it out for further details. All right, back to the real flu, influenza. So you have fever, you have a runny nose, sore throat, cough, body aches. Does this mean you have the flu? Some people think they have the flu, but in reality, all they have is a cold. Truth be told, it is sometimes very difficult to tell the difference, even for doctors. This ambiguity arises from the fact that both cold and flu share many of the same symptoms. They both cause a respiratory illness, fever, chills, aches, fatigue, and a general crummy feeling. In general, though, the symptoms of influenza are much more severe and can last longer than a cold. Muscle aches and fevers are more intense in flu than during a cold. And also, colds typically cause a runny or stuffy nose, while the main features of the flu are generally more respiratory with more intense coughing and chest symptoms, chest, con chest congestion. Finally, it is important to be aware that very serious health complications like pneumonia or hospitalizations are much more likely to occur with influenza than the common cold. In some people, the flu can cause serious complications, including bacterial pneumonia, dehydration, and worsening of chronic medical conditions such as congestive heart failure, asthma, or diabetes. Now, children and adults may also develop sinus problems and ear infections after a bout with the flu. The flu most often is mild in healthy people, but it can cause severe illness and even can lead to death. Although most healthy people recover from the flu without complications, some people, such as older people, very young children, and people with certain health conditions like asthma, diabetes, or heart disease are at higher risk for serious complications from the flu. I'm Dr. Sugar. Be sure to watch part four of our series on influenza. In the next section, I'm gonna go into a lot more detail on what the treatments are, what the, uh, what the options are, how influenza is spread, and how you can avoid catching the flu. So make sure to watch it, and I'll see you there. Dr. Sugar. Dr. Sugar. Can